Hey guys, maybe you're 20 back again, and today I figured we'd take a look at Zeo Drifter coming to the Nintendo Switch February 15th. Now, I did get a review copy of this game, and instead of doing a review, I figured we'd do a first look at the game so you guys can see what your this game's all about. So let's go ahead and start this game up here. Alright, so you got three files to choose from. We'll just go ahead and start the first file here. Now, what I do know about this game is it's like a Metroidvania type of game, and it's pretty hard. So if you like old school hard games and you're probably gonna feel right at home here so it looks like right away we're hit with like the intro so it looks like there's a spaceship or a rocket right there and we're getting hit by a meteor it looks like and we're crashing so I'm assuming this is gonna be like the hub world here system check Warp status danger. As you can tell, the graphics are like 8 bit, so it makes it really feel like an old game here, like an old school game. Alright, so it's telling you the controls. Alright, so it looks like you can go to any, um, any planet you want to right away. So we're going to go ahead and just go to the top one. We're going to go to the green planet. I'm going to go ahead and go here. So it looks like this is going to save your game. Okay, so these portals here save your game. And then we're going to go ahead and disactivate. Okay, so this is actually how you start the game, the level. Okay, so B jumps, it looks like, and Y shoots your gun. So pretty simple controls. They feel a little slippery. It reminds me of like old school games, like kind of like you slide a little bit when you do land. So it's going to take some getting used to. Alright, so, some enemies are going to take more than one hit, obviously, to kill. Alright, so it's really slippery. The controls are pretty slippery. Alright, so, checkpoint really a boss fight already so we're already at a boss fight um this is kind of strange to be at a boss fight this early in the game um it's it's hard all right so oh crap we just got taken out holy crap so we only get three hits and we're dead so and he's going in the back now what's going on here Oh, he's filling up his health meter. That's cheap. <laughs> Alright, so we got him over halfway. Wow, that's nuts. That is absolute nuts. This is this is rough, man. This is intense. This is pretty This is pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie, this is hard. I mean, we're already at a boss fight and the game just started. Oh man, we jumped right into it. So sometimes he'll jump, sometimes he'll dash. I guess you kind of got to watch his animation to see what he's going to do. Guys, we just started the game. And look at this crazy boss fight we're, we're already in. Like, that's... That's, that's insane. Alright, so he's going to go back there and he's going to refill some health. Like, I, I, this is a pretty hard boss fight for a game that just started. We almost got him. We almost got him. Oh, crap. We did it. We did it. That was rough, man. That, that was, that was rough. This game is rough. <laughs> that was pretty hard. So it looks like we got a submarine. Okay, so it looks like they're going to give you power-ups um, as you advance to help you progress through the game. Kind of like Metroid. Alright, so to activate the submarine, how do we do that? All right. Okay, so it says push down. Down in A. Okay, let's push down in A. Boom, activated the submarine. And we, okay, we can shoot. All right, so now we're underwater. I'm trying to proceed with caution. What's that thing? 
health, okay. I was afraid to get it for a second. I didn't know if it was going to hurt me or not. So it looks like that's how you get some health for your submarine. All right, so this game is pretty cool. Guys, leave a comment below and let me know if you're going to be picking this game up. Um, it comes out February 15th, so you still got a little while. But I figured we'd go ahead and do a first look at it here. The reason why I'm doing a first look, I didn't want to do a review because there's an embargo on the review. You got to wait about a week or so. And here we can actually, you know, I'm allowed to show some gameplay. So I wanted to do that. So we're going to go ahead and definitely save right here. Alright, so that's cool. So there's cool, like, you know, at least you don't have to wait too long to, you know, save the game. Because that was a pretty hard boss fight. And I didn't want to have to do that again. So. I don't really know if I have to kill this guy. He's just up there not hurting nobody. I guess we'll leave him alone. Yeah, guys, but that's pretty much it. This is just a first look at Zeo Drifter coming to the Nintendo Switch. Um, leave a comment below and let me know if you like it or not. That's pretty much all for right now, guys. Hope you enjoy this video, and there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again.